Hello everyone, in this episode we will model that easy case. So let's delete them and let's add a cube and let's make that something like that. Let's make the egg. X size 100 centimeters. Rename that case and I will duplicate that by pressing Ctrl and hide the first object. Now I will make editable second case by pressing C. And I will switch to polygon mode and select that front polygon. Then I will click here, uh, sorry, invert, and I will just delete. Then I will switch points mode, select all, and optimize. Now I will switch to front view, right click, and line cut. And I will make some cuts like that. That and like that. And I will right click, slide. And I will make some small adjustments. Okay, now let's select them all by pressing Ctrl A, right click and disconnect and uncheck preserve groups. So that way every polygon will be free, like that. Now I will select the polygon and I will hide the unselected polygons. Now I will right click and plane cuts. I will press and drag. Actually, we can do that from uh, in the front side. So let's click and drag. So your Plane cuts should be free, so we can change rotation and position of the cuts. And we can give like 50 cuts and we can change the space between them. So 50 and maybe 1. Looks okay. This is done, so let's move to the next part. Unhide all. Select the next polygon. I then I hide unselected. Right click, link cuts, press and drag. Let's make it like that. So I will, I need to increase my cuts. Select the third polygon. Right unselected, right click, plane cut, and we have uh, unwanted points, so I will select and delete that. Right click, plane cut, and let's make it 
Stats. Okay, I'll hide the last one. Right click, lane cuts. And actually, if you go to the point, it will snap. Okay, let's unhide them all. Now I will select all, right click, extrude, and turn on caps. And I will double click on that part and hide unselected. Then I will switch points mode and right click slide. I will press control and move that point to that point. So it's gonna belt those points. So should clear here too. Okay, let's move to the next part. Select double click, uh, I done selected, and check the mesh if something like that. Switch the slide and belt these points. That looks okay, let's unhide, double click, hide unselected. Okay, we have three points, so I'll select them with rectangle selection, right click and vault. Okay, the last one. Okay, let's unhide all and I will select that group, polygon group, and I will select these polygons then I will right click line cuts and check restrict selection so only the selected polygons will be affected by the cut so let's make something like that. Now I will press Ctrl and move my move my polygons on the Z axis. Then I will switch to edge mode. Select. Those edges that we just created and move them on the Z-axis. Also, we can move these edges, see which points mode. Something like that. Okay, next part. Press Control and move. So, right click, line cuts, and let's make a cut right here. 
so the same steps I will select these edges and move them okay let's also move them too Press control and move. Right click, line cuts, and let's make something like there and select. I prefer select. Let's just skip here. And move. For that part, let's make something different. Let's uh, move. Right click, line cut. And let's make it here. Right click slides and let's remove that cut and select these edges. and move but let's select that points mode slides press control and weld these points And I will move these points. I will rename that front face. And I will press shift and add a bevel deformer. So we need to fix that bevel. First of all, our offset is too high. So let's make that something like 0.4 or 0.5 or 0.4, maybe 0.3. I don't know, like give it to segments. And I will also use angle. So enable that. It wants bevel bevel error edge. Increase that to maybe one. So this is before and after. And it looks let's switch to about shading and it looks perfect. And the best part is we can always disable bevel and change whatever we want. Let's 
So let's enable our first case and let's have a look. Okay guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.